So programming this Accord 2014 also. So I've replaced the PCM already and you can see the key light is flashing, which means the PCM has not been programmed. So I'll go to replace PCM and follow the procedure and try and start the vehicle. So the shop just called me that they they want to replace the PCM and see if the issue they are having with this vehicle will, will stop. So I need to program the PCM for them. Now I'll be waiting to finish programming. It. If the PCM that the program didn't solve the issue, then I'll speak to them to pay me for extra for me to do the diagnosing for them and find the actual problem or to fix the problem for them. So now you can see the key lights are still flashing. That means the vehicle has been programmed successfully. So the ignition key is on. And no. So now I'm done with the programming. And now the key light is not flashing anymore. Let me take it out. We plug it back in. And the key light is not flashing anymore. So now I'm done with the setup. So now I'll start the vehicle. It starts. Now the vehicle is running, but I still having this difficult starting. So I'll, tell, I'll talk to the shop because you can't just be changing programming. You can't just be changing board and be calling me to program it while there is a solution to their problem. So I'll speak to them and see what you can do about it thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos and now the board is programmed successfully so after checking we took the food, the high pressure sensor out to check if it is a circuit problem or it's a sensor issue so we took it out to check so we connect our test light to ground then we turn our scope on so anytime you shot, you put a circuit down, you're supposed to get zero. So now you are getting zero. So you are going to attack the mechanical aspect of this. You are going to see if the high pressure pump is able to generate the enough pressure that is needed. And also check for any other thing. So after several hours of diagnosis we try to see if this cam actuator will be moving downwards when we are turning the engine please turn the engine eh? and you keep turning the engine and it is not moving it's not moving it's not moving it's supposed to move for the high pressure pump to be working and it's not moving so the high pressure pump is not able to pump the fuel uh, to generate high pressure in the fuel ring that's why you keep getting low pressure in the fuel ring so what i'll do now is i have the high pressure pump with me so i'll take that cam this cam actuator out and see why it is not moving so after taking it out you can see this part is on off so we place it and see if still we'll be getting full low pressure so you can see the replacement part and this one is working perfectly and it's not broken so we we'll place it in it then we we'll check we we'll place it in it and check so after placing it in it, you can see it moves forth and back smoothly. So I'll let the shop fix everything. It's, it's late in the night, so I'll let the shop fix everything because I'll be going for training. And we will 
wait for their response thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos